Okay, so we're here. I got my new linear rails here. So I already, I already opened this pack. This will be the width. And these suckers are for the length. So, this is the official unboxing. My knife. Right on the seams. Because if you ever move, you're gonna need this packaging again. So I, I always save it. And here we go. Okay, so these ones here, these are the smaller ones. These have smaller bearing blocks. And right away from the looks out of it, smaller rails. But you're gonna want your bottom rails, your, your lengthwise rails to be uh, easy. These things are crazy. So let's show top to bottom here. If you can see the thickness, bottom rails, bottom rails compared to the top, completely different. And actually really for these, these longer ones, not really that much more money. I'll have a link in the description. All I can say is uh, totally worth the money. So we have our rail set up like, like so. These will be going across the top. And I mean, there you go. That's basically the length and the width. It's um, it's big enough for, for what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm quite happy. Okay, so I got my little rudder slit set up here. Seems pretty smooth. What I'm gonna have to do is build a little, probably a three quarter inch plywood platform here. Another one on the other side, because these rails need to attach to something and because they're thinner, they don't line up with the holes, but that's no problem because you want to have support here and on the other side and it stops, like it stops it from being sort of wavy. So uh, not a big deal. I will be uh, making that next. Okay, so I've got my rails here. I've got my sexy little piece of uh, half inch acrylic. I got my holes marked already here. So this I'm gonna in I'm gonna offset an inch on each corner so I'm not drilling too close to the edge. I mean, this is a 12 by 12 piece, more than enough space. Give me a nice platform to mount my router. With it being this, this inset, this should be nice and sturdy. And then at each end, I'm gonna put a little three quarter inch uh, piece of plywood to further shore up each end, so. 
so it doesn't twist like that. But before I do this, I need to go buy some new tools. So I've been, um, I've been putting this one off for a while. I need a drill press because when I drill these holes, I want them to be perfectly perpendicular. So I'm getting a new handheld cordless DeWalt router just for the nice little, the nice little edge pieces. And I'm gonna buy a drill press. So that's tomorrow. Okay, so it's time to start my rudder sled because I got my uh, got my epoxy tabletop over there. So I'm gonna need need to flatten that. Um, so we're gonna start on the um, rudder sled. So I've already found the whole size I'm gonna need. So basically, mountain arms here and there so this router sled will be almost flush with my rails okay so here we go first little First little hole here, it's, it's good practice to uh, line it up first. Go ahead and flip her on. There we go. So we'll just repeat that a few more times. Okay, so now that I got my holes drilled, I got my piece, my, my one riser here. So I'm just gonna pre-drill my holes so I don't split the wood and um, insert my screws. So I'm just using, I don't know, inch, one inch screws, half inch, um, this is a half inch uh, piece of acrylic. And there you go. Okay, so I got my, this is the router I'll be using. It's a DeWalt uh, one and a three quarter horsepower. Just gonna mount straight in the middle. Line up my handles, come out like that. So now we just trace a circle here. For reference, had a phone call there. So I need to drill a hole. I mean, it's probably only gonna be about, I don't know, maybe an inch wide. That's all I really need to get down in there. So we're gonna get that hole drilled. Okay, so I'm gonna drill just a pilot hole for uh, my hole saw to go in. So, similar size bit. Half inch takes a lot. So that's that one. So here, I'm, I'm doing a two and a half, two and a half inch hole. So this might take a little while. Okay, and so now to get the holes that I need to attach my router here. I just used the plastic router base from there before. Line it all up. And voila. So the thing is, is I do not have long enough screws 
So these are the standard ones, but I need ones that are gonna be um, probably three quarters of an inch long. So I need to go get some of these. So I'm just gonna stop here on this part, but I'm gonna put the arms here that's gonna attach to going across here. Okay, so I just added some glue here and put my cross beam here. Just a couple uh, one inch screws. Pre-drilled as always. And there you go, just repeat for the other side. And this will be rock solid. Okay, so here's just a little demonstration. It's not really attached here, but um, obviously I gotta have my rail straight. Nice and smooth. Like I said, it's, it's not screwed in. But it looks good. Okay, here's a little test. Woo! Like I said, not, not screwed in yet. But that looks pretty damn nice to me. Okay, so here's this is just a loose mock-up, but everything's attached. It's my nice clear acrylic, so I can see what's going on over there. Looking beautiful. Okay, so what I added here on the ends here, a couple pieces of three quarter inch plywood, just to make sure this thing moves beautiful now. So what I'm going to actually uh, do, I'm not going to mount these bottom rails on um, two by fours. I'm going to get a three quarter inch piece of plywood. So basically the whole these rails will be mounted to that plywood and then it's just easy to take off my table and I don't have to gouge up my table to mount it. So that's the progress and we're almost there. Okay, so here's the, the finished version. So I got one uh, four by six piece of three quarter inch plywood as my base. And then I got my rails uh, elevated by three quarters of an inch. That gives me more than enough space to uh, do what I need to do here. If I ever need to do any thicker, I would just take, you know, just add another piece here and r raise these rails up. But so far, I mean, this baby's ready to go. Showtime, baby. Okay, so. We got this thing ready to go. I just made a quick little pass here. Looks really good, but we're gonna get it on video here. So here's the, the first little pass we got over here. So I pretty much just did this half. Basically with this thing, you wanna go just nice and slow, make a lot of very uh, shallow passes here. 
I'm gonna show you if you can see under here. Right under there. Ah, it's hard to see, there's my bit there. So that's a two inch um, a slab bit. Uh, it's like 40 bucks, well worth it. Okay, and that's where I got my first pass here. I don't know, maybe like, a, I was very gentle, so maybe a 16th of an inch, well, maybe even a quarter of an inch I took off. But uh, that's the first pass. Um, this thing's pretty heavy, so I didn't really find the need to clamp it down. It seemed to work fine, so that's the end of the build for the linear rail uh, rotor sled, so quite pleased.